So the replay we're going to be looking at is for MBGM. Sent this in a little bit ago. Diamond one player and threes and twos says that uh, they don't really like to play ones or they don't play ones a lot. And that this game is against a more mechanical player than them. So we'll see what we can do to help MBGM maybe level the playing field or, you know, make things a little bit more equal or see what they need to improve on. So we're going to start first off. Is that the is that the steering wheel? Is that the steering wheel I am looking at right now? Is that the steering wheel inside the car? Or is that a topper I've never seen before? Okay, anyhow. So they fake the kickoff. And we get an easy goal. Um, I'll say this to the day I die. I hate when people fake kickoffs like this. Because you're just immediately giving up a shot on your net. And, and or an attack on your net. And you're going to have low boost. So punish people who do this. Going for a flick. Going for a simple 50 is great. I mean. Huh, look at these camera settings. Huh, disgusting camera settings. But look at this. You're just basically taking it and getting shit on. Essentially. Immediately. Like. It's just not not something we want to do. Not a good not a good play at all. Have a great night, Derp. Alright, kickoffs are a little weak. We should be flipping into our kickoffs. Especially in ones. Ones all starts with a good kickoff. If you can get a good kickoff, you can get a lot of offensive opportunities. And uh, just have great much greater. <laughs> not how you say it. Just a lot better offense with it, right? Uh, we do take a different approach when he fakes it again. We just kind of throw away possession to him. Uh, obviously, we didn't see that he faked, which is unfortunate. But now we kind of justified the fact that his fake was all right. And then, yes, beautiful. Let them make the mistakes and just get the easy counterplay. Um, if he's going to jump and miss that aerial, it's, yeah. That's how uh, you should punish. So now we've seen three fake kickoffs from this player, right? Um, we should just be ready for the fourth, right? I, I'm not. I'm assuming this guy is faking every time now, and we should be looking at our our teammate or our our opponent here. We should be trying to check him a little bit. Is his name tag getting closer to us? Is it getting closer to the ball? Is it coming towards us? If it's not, he's probably faking, right? There's ways to see it. I will say that the kickoffs off to the side like this, the more diagonal ones, these are much safer to fake if we were to do that. And I think a good fake kickoff is a uh, is actually a, a great way to mix things up, especially if you have a pretty poor kickoff. All right, so put the ball in the middle. A little awkward here. You could probably, I think you're probably uncomfortable on the wall, right? And you're trying to find a way to get down quickly. Totally fine. But once we get off the wall, we need to get back into ball cam and find this thing. I feel like we're just out of ball cam a little too long. We need to be finding this and getting back on that. Uh, we get the whiff and then the own goal. I will say though, right? He misses here. But why do we jump so early? Why do we jump so early when we look at this guy's positioning and he's right next to the ball? We're basically saying, oh, he's going to miss again, and I'm just going to go in here and get an easy goal. Like, that's not a likely play, right? And especially if we look at his perspective. Like, this is a gimme ball. You're basically going to throw yourself out of position going for this. Um, thankfully, he does own goal it. But if he were to play that to the side, you're fully committed, and you're probably blasting, you know, all the way into their net and have to recover out of it and try to chase down the ball. Like, it's very, very risky. You're just a little too far away from the ball. Again, he faked. We just got to be a little, you know, we got to recognize he's going to fake every time, it seems. Decent touch to the middle. Ah, uh, but the, the recovery was much better, right? This is something we want to do a lot in ones. <clears throat> we're here. We're ready to make a save. And, you know, we want to push it to the middle, especially if they're going to do, go, do these long aerials like this, right? And ones, if we see the guy go up in the air like this, if we can get this ball 
cleanly away from him and soft to the middle where we can come and attack it immediately after, you're going to score so many goals, especially on players who do this all-in type offense, right? The touch wasn't amazing. He almost got back to it, but it was good enough. It was good enough to get the goal. So very dominant first part of this game. I'm very, very interested to see where it all falls apart. All right, so he went for that kickoff. Let's go back and analyze your kickoff a little better here. So you flip too early. You flip too early into this kickoff, right? So we go, you're flipping right now. So let's actually slow this down a little bit. So look how, how you're contacting this ball versus how he's contacting this ball, right? Let's go into fly cam. Oof, oof. Look how you're contacting the ball versus how he's contacting the ball. Um, this is kind of where we got to think about. Um, ooh. You know, we got to think about what's going to happen after this, right? He's hitting with the ball with the nose of his car directly, basically in the middle of the ball, the ball if not a little underneath the middle of the ball, right? You're putting your hood onto the ball, which may seem like you have a lot of surface area, but with your rotation of your car ending this flip, you're actually just going to be diving your nose and you're just going to be bouncing up out of this way, out of the way of this ball. And his, you know, normal just putting the nose on the ball, probably going to side flip or front flip into it, is just going to overpower what you're doing here, right? The position he has on this is much, much better for plowing through you than what you have. Because you, you think you're, you're not actually generating power like this when your car is, is like this, right? He's generating way more power and he can stay behind the ball and side flip either way, right? And you're just going to kind of fly into it and then just pop off it right the ball is going to hit you harder than you're hitting the ball so you just jumped a little too early is what i'm trying to say and we see that i mean you fly up to the ceiling basically <laughs> and oh we're going 50 percent speed i'm like and you're falling really slowly <sighs> so give up a pretty easy goal there That's a much better kickoff. Put your nose into it. Oh, we got to be scoring those, though. You know, just a little rushed. It is a little stressful. He is kind of on your butt. But, you know, take your time. Try to get those ones on net. Big pinch. Nope, nothing there. Light your rotation back. A little bit of a mistouch, but we're, we're there. All right, we're going to kind of have to let him have it, which is fine. He plays it to the middle. Totally fine. We are throwing away possession a little bit, but I mean, right now, everything's kind of in balance. Good challenge. It just went too, a little too high. A little, a little bit of riskier challenge. You know, you got to be careful when you turn like this, when you don't, you know, when he is having all the momentum driving to the ball and you're kind of turning, stopping your car and all this momentum and you're underneath it like this, you're, it's just a recipe of getting for getting dunked and letting the ball go past you. So just being careful. Good challenge. Oh, what are we accomplishing with that ball, right? I know you wanted to boomer this upfield, but what are we accomplishing by boomering this upfield? We're just giving the ball back to this guy, right? Much better play here is once we get up to this part, either we let the ball Either we just, we get up to this part and we just don't touch the ball. We let this ball fall all the way down and we just sit behind it and try to get a 50. Or we try to softly tap it going like this so that we're hitting the ball more up the side of the wall, slightly maybe out, right? We don't want to throw this ball like you do completely away from us because firstly, you jumped. So that means your recovery is going to be way longer than his is. Well, he doesn't have to recover at all. He's already on the ground. You throw it away to the middle too far, you're never going to get there in time. And uh, it's going to give him a lot of free goals. And thankfully, he missed. And then he missed again. But 
you know, you gotta be smarter about that, keeping possession, not just giving it away. Uh, we see the whiff here. So we need to be more, I don't like the pinch idea. I'd rather you drive up like you did and just hit the ball off this wall and try to aim for like right here and then have that ball come out to the middle really quickly and just dribble it. Try to go to his net, right? If we just do that, we have a faster, you know, it's gonna be a little faster trying to get that ball to the middle and not pinch it up the mid middle and give him time to recover. Although he whiffs anyways that you score, but it could have been faster. We just took a touch off the wall. Even you can even jump and land on the wall, but as long as we can get that ball to the middle, we can get there to, we can get to the, you know, his net much faster. All right, another fake. Do a good job with the save. Put it in a safe spot. All right, how are we gonna handle this? P bit awkward, bit awkward. I don't mind going up the wall to try to cut this off, but as soon as this ball pops out, you know, at diamond, we just probably need to get to the ground again. Just drive back down the wall and get on the ground and get ready to turn and challenge or something. Uh, if you were champ or GC, Jumping off this wall and trying to aerial and hit this would be a good idea as well. Uh, I don't know if you can do that right now. You need a lot of practice, a lot of uh, car control to do it. But, you know, those are the options. Decent 50s. Ooh, good bump from your, your teammate there. Or teammate, opponent. Don't let this touch the side. You could have definitely uh, scored that. Oh, just good air dribble. It's like going to be a double. Yeah. You just, you just gave him a little too much space, right? You flipped into this boost, and then you bashed your head on, or I guess your ass and your head onto this wall. And by then, it's too late. You're never going to get back in time. You got to stay off the wall and away from the side of the fields if you want to travel quickly to stop plays like this. Really, really nice air dribble to a... Or I guess it wasn't even air dribble. Just a double tap. Right? Now we know he can do that stuff. We kind of have to respect it. We don't want to give him too much space. Good demo. Good demo. I think the only way we could we can stop this demo attempt here is not being so slow. We gotta be able to read this ball coming off, off this corner. And we need to be going up this way and trying to dig this thing out of there, right? If we kind of just sit here, it gives him time to come in and cut this angle off. If we're fast and we can read this off the corner quickly, we can get up past him before he can demo us. Right? There's a hair too slow, and he gets around it and demos us. Gets the easy goal. So, he's doing everything right to make the counter play to try to get back into this game. Let's see what the kickoff looks like. Just missed the kickoff. Yeah. Got a little squirrely. And just flipped completely out of the way of the kickoff. Um, it's tough. It just comes down to practicing that. Like, you gotta make it so your kickoff is the exact same almost every time, and you can do what you need to with it, right? Um, something else, if we see him fake, we need to stop giving him possession. You gotta stop giving him possession because then he's just gonna keep countering. Yes, PK, you are. Just send it in the Discord. Good, good patience. All that crap, he isn't doing anything, actually. So good patience. Let him just do that stuff. Over committing. Oh, put that on net, though. Misread off the wall. We end up getting there. Ooh, bad recovery. Okay, we're just that's okay to give up the possession in that case, so we can just try to get boost, but we need a fine boost now. Um, oh, but good cha good challenge is zero boost. Alright. Oh no no no. So we gotta be watching our opponent in the ball at all times, right? We get this boost, which is a little risky in my opinion, but we get it. We're fine. But we see him not near this ball. We cannot let this ball just sit in the middle of the field unattended, right? Especially if it's in the middle of the field and he has an opportunity to get boost and come attack you, right? When we're flipping and rotating back, I know you want to go up this path to get little boost pads, but you just got 100. Let's pinch this ball this way, especially since no one's on it, and try to 
play it to the side and get something going again, right? But you just let him have so much space. And now he can do whatever he wants, right? He ends up just giving you the ball back. A little bit of a poor shot. That could get better with just a little practice and some training packs. Good challenge. Beautiful timing on this challenge. You waited. He made a mistake. You put the ball away from him and you were ready to counter it immediately. So beautiful. Good job. Just kind of hanging out, seeing what's happening. Getting deep. Oh, what are we doing, right? So what are we doing? How are we going to be able to stop him? from doing this air dribble if we're directly underneath him, right? Like, he's he's already shown that he can air dribble and do things in the air like this. We can't get directly underneath him, you know, and expect us to be able to jump up and save this. You did a good job giving space because you weren't going to get there in time before he set this up anyways. Right now, you just kind of have to take your L and try to save it. Um, you just get way too underneath them and by then it's over like he just he could do anything he wants at that point the ball will go in So you did a good job getting deep initially, but then you let it you gave that up and tried to get underneath them Kickoff was a pretty poor there. I mean You, you can't just drive into it like this you know, you're just asking your people to dunk you that's where you had to get there and flip and do something to make yourself Get that nose of the car, nose of your car on that ball so that you can flip and react to it that way. Um, not flipping at all is even worse than flipping too early. So, and you saw that, right? Tough recovery here. Try to be aggressive, which is fine. Uh, now there's just nothing there. We don't want to be too aggressive where we give up another goal, especially only down one. All right, we're taking good demo. Good demo. Now here's our chance. Let's have a bounce dribble. Ah, oh, it's just too wild. It's too wild. You got too far in front of the ball here. Like there's a the ring around the ball here, right? We need to make sure we're really focusing on this when we're dribbling, so that we can set up dribbles and know where the ball is. And keep the ball in front of us, right? You get a good first touch. You get a good cut here, but you never hit the break or slow down. And then you just get in front of the ball, and by then it's over. Like, you're, this dribble, dribble is unsavable. Like, you can't recover from that. And he just has a quick... Yeah, you just gave him the front post. So, again, be a little hesitant. Try to be too patient. Like, you did a good job rotating through here, right? But then we need to attack because we definitely cannot give up this front post. Front post has to be guarded. So if we can attack the ball before it gets there, especially if it's coming around the corner like this. Especially if he's bringing the ball around the corner like this. We have to attack it and meet the ball before it gets in front of the post. And we're just a little slow. Just a little slow. We hit the brakes. And then he just sneaks it in tight. Right? If we kept just boosting through that and kept our momentum through uh, rotating through that uh, goal there, we've been much better off. Oh, yeah. Just, you know, panic, right? This is... You're, you've jumped and you flipped and you're not even anywhere near the ball, right? That's just panic. You know. You gotta slow down, take her easy. Because we, we needed to score there. We... That was our one shot to try to get back into this game. Now we have zero boost and we're wasting too much time. And that's how it's gonna that's how it's gonna go. It's unfortunate. Um I would say there's a lot of good things, but it just comes down to, you know, the car control, the ball control, it just wasn't there. You know, we have a lot of stuff. You know, if we have mechanics over here. We got game sense over here, right? You know, your game sense, you're, you're pretty much full there, you know? You got a lot of game sense. But when it comes to ball control mechanics, you know, we need to make up for that a little bit. This needs to get up and match our levels here. 
because that's where we're lacking right now. I don't think you're lacking in a game sense, but, um, you know, for the most part. There are some things that you do that are technically incorrect. But overall, I mean, it's not bad. You weren't in a terrible position. You weren't, like, you know, blatantly doing anything that was giving up free goals all the time. I just think there's the ball control. There's a lot of times where you could have scored and you just, you know, had a bad dribble or didn't set it up perfectly. So, training packs, free play time, watching videos, playing a lot. That's what's, you know, that's going to be the remedy for you. So, Hopefully, MBGM, this helps you out. And I really appreciate you sending in the replay.